Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. 3x plus 2 to the power of 4 equals 16. Okay, the first step to take from here is to take um, the square of both sides. I mean the square root of both sides. So we we'll now have square root of 3x plus 2. This is raised to the power of 4. And it's equal to plus or minus square root of 16. Okay. And then on this side, square root of this means 3x plus 2 to the power of 4. Right. Then the square root here is raised to the power of 1 over 2 because when you raise a number to the power of 1 over 2 you're equally finding the square root of that number so here we have plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 and then 2 here you know powers always multiply each other so this will go into that as we get to so we now have 3x plus 2 to the power of um to the power of 2 equals plus or minus 4 now there's still something else i can do because by looking at um what we have here you can decide to take the square root of both sides again okay and um to take the square root of both sides you're going to consider this as two equations let's get the first equation 3x plus 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 4. I've picked the positive 4, right? Now, I will pick the other equation, which is 3x plus 2 equals, um, okay, let's see square on it, squared equals negative 4. Okay, so this is what we have. And then, how do we deal with this? To come back to this, we'll have from um, 3x plus 2 to the power of 2 take the square root of this then on the other side we have positive or negative square root of 4 i will get back to what we have over there now this and this can always go so we have 3x plus 2 to be equal to plus or minus here we have square root of 4 and that is 2. Now, we are still going to have two equations here. One is positive 2 on the right and the other is negative 2. So I will work with the positive first. Okay, I will work with positive 2. So that we have 3x plus 2 equals 2. And what do you observe? We call it like terms. So that 3x will be equal to 2 minus 2 and then 3x is equal to 0. Now we divide both sides by 3, divide this by 3, this will go. And now our x is equal to 0 over 3. And 0 over 3 is the same thing as 0. So from here we have one solution. And then to go ahead, we'll pick the negative 2. Okay, so we're going to pick negative 2, meaning that 3x plus 2 will be equal to negative 2. The one we did before was um, positive 2, right? On the right. Now, this means that 3x is equal to negative 2, negative 2. We write this one first and this becomes negative on the right meaning that 3x is equal to negative 4 now divide both sides by 3 so that this will go with this and now our x is equal to negative 4 over 3 so here we have another solution Let's bring the two solutions together. So we have x, x1 to be equal to 0. And then we have our 
x2 to be equal to negative 4 over 3. These are the two real solutions. Now, we'll go back to the equation that we left up there, and then we'll get more solutions if it is possible. Okay, so from here, what we'll do is to take the square root of both sides again. So we now have from um, square root of 3x plus 2, everything to the power of 2, equals plus or minus square root of negative 4. We are looking for only the real solutions, okay? Now this is going to go with this. And then 3x plus 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of negative 4. Now, this square root of negative here indicates that this will not give us a real solution. So, whatever value of x we have from here has to be rejected. Okay? So, whatever value we have from here will be rejected since we are looking for only the real solution. Now, let us verify our work. The equation is 3x plus 2 to the power of 4 equals 16. The first equation, I mean the first solution is x equal to 0. You can see it over here. So I will put x here as 0. So we have 3 times 0, then plus 2. Everything here is raised to the power of 4. Okay, so if this is the case, 3 times, zero, <clears throat> 3 times 0 will still give us 0. So I'll write 0, then plus 2 to the power of 4. 0 plus 2 is the same as 2 to the power of 4. And 2 to the power of 4 is 16. That's all we have on the right. So this equation, um, this solution is satisfying. Now, the other solution is um, minus 4 over 3. So that means I'll be having 3 times minus 4 over 3. Then we have plus 2. We'll now raise this. Okay, let me change this. We'll raise this to the power of 4. Will it give us 16? I think yes, because this will go with this. Now we have minus 4 plus 2 to the power of 4. Now, minus 4 plus 2. Minus 4 plus 2 is the same thing as minus 2 in brackets to the power of 4. And um, if you're raising any negative number to um, an even power, you will have positive results. So this will still give us 16. And that is what we had on the right-hand side. Thank you for watching.